Hello, YouTube! My name is LegoCrop75, and today I have another vlogging update video. Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep it that fancy from here on out. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I got another update video for you. Um, so far, things are pretty good. Also, happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there with someone special in your life. Me, I don't have that, so <laughs> I'm a single Pringle. I got a lot of good friends, though, so. Life is still, is still treating me very well. Um, I guess just a couple of updates. Uh, my next... Actually, yeah. So my upcoming Lego project that I have planned is a Lego set restoration project. I'll uh, widen this out. There we go. So I'm going to be planning on restoring all of my uh, old Rock Raider sets back to their peak condition. Or... Yeah, the condition they were in when I got them. Actually, you know what? I think some of these are missing parts as it is, even when I got them originally, because I think we got them secondhand, or I got them secondhand off of BrickLink. So they might just be missing parts in general. So what I might need to do is order some new parts online, just because A, I might be missing those parts, period, and B, they might be somewhere... Buried deep in the bowels of my giant spaceships. And I do not want to dismantle them just to get one part of a specific color out of their bowels. I don't I won't have it. Yeah, that's that's just that's just too much work when I could just very easily buy a new version of it or just an additional copy of it online. So I'll probably just be doing that. Uh, there are other parts, though, that I can very easily, you know, remove off of ships that they're currently already on. Like, uh, my dear Punic here, obviously, that's a Rock Raider, Rock Raider part right there. And that color piece there, too. And up there, and that one. Those are also part of it. Uh, you might be wondering why it's the, the you know that part and that part specifically and it's because of the color tone see back in the old days before um well i don't want to say before lego got better i think that's a better it's not a proper term to use but um oh what's a better what is a good word to use for this but basically back in the lego system days or back in back in time to those times of lego time <laughs> Lego had a different color scheme for a lot of their colors, specifically for gray and dark gray. They were basically just almost like a sun-washed version. Like the best example I can provide would be the color distortion my poor old Saturn V rocket has. As you can see here, these are the original parts that were on the set. And these are the new ones that I've put on there from other sets. See here, this one, these parts for some reason, immune to the sun. But these parts, you can see they're kind of spoiled in the in the sunlight, and it become become sun damaged because of because of it absorbing the the radiation or the rays of the sunlight through the windows. So that's I guess that's the best example I can give for the older look of dark gray pieces and light gray pieces. Which, whenever you go to look at parts now on BrickLink for purchase, when you go to look for gray and dark gray, they either have dark gray or dark bluish gray. Because apparently, I guess they added a blue hue into the gray to make it look a lot more, I don't want to say juicier, but it looks a lot more gray. You know what I mean? Like, we'll go back to that example, or let me see, I can probably find an example on this thing. Um, but yeah, you can see here, that's a very noticeable difference in coloration. God, it's dusty, you know? See how it's a deeper dark gray versus this color? This older dark gray? That That's just a good indication of what, it, what they looked like back then. And then, like, I don't know when LEGO started doing this. I think it was probably around... I want to say 2008, 2009 is when they started using this new color gray. Because some of these pieces I have, like this dark color, 
These are from a 2005 train, Lego train set, like a crossing guard station. That's in 2005. So they didn't start updating or revitalizing the color of their gray bricks until, oh, I want to say probably around 2008, maybe even 2007. But until then, they were that older looking gray kind of look to them. So yeah, I'll probably be having to go on BrickLink and buy some of those older looking colors just to properly restore these old Lego sets. Um, or just buy incomplete sets. Because like, uh, there's like a bunch of people on BrickLink who are selling these sets but incomplete. Some of them are a little more expensive than they should be. <laughs> I'm going to say that at least. I mean... For like sets that are still like still sealed in the box, brand new, unopened, still have the original price sticker from the store they were purchased at, they sell them for at least half a grand, you know. Whether or not people buy them, I have no fucking idea. It's 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 kind of a uh, I don't even know how to put it, but it's an interesting market. It's kind of like gold investment, but. Unlike gold, why well, even actually you know just like gold, the market determines the value, you know, or changes in, I guess the economy as well as you know what's available on the market will change the value of it. Kind of like old uh, Armored Core games, they have gone up significantly in value. I think I could be horrendously wrong, but they've gone up significantly in value due to the sole fact that a Armored Core 6 came out and reintroduced the whole zeitgeist of the gamer community to good mecha games. And B, because you can't buy any of those older uh, Armored Core games either digitally through consoles or on PC. Like, you can only get them through emulation or on the original console they came out on. So... For, I would say, I want to say Armored Core 2 and 3, like Gen 2 and Gen 3 as it's called, you can only get that on PlayStation 2. So you would need to not only have the original disc that the games came on, but an actual PlayStation 2 to play it on. If you want to get the original gaming experience of it. Or you could just get it on a computer and run emulation for free. Which honestly, that's your better bet. Technically, from software doesn't endorse that, but you know, if they were really smart, they would, you know, redo those games or at the very least make them officially available through Steam or an online retailer and make a shit ton of money on people wanting to play those older games. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> There's a lot of, including me, I would happily spend like another hundred dollars or so buying those older games so I can have the privilege of playing them and I'll have to try and figure out a fucking emulator. That was a pain in the ass to do that for the for answer in the first place. And I didn't even need to do that because I spent 80 bucks buying a crappy disc of it for my 360 and did it that way. So anyway, um, what else? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't know what else to yeah, so I'll be working on that restoration project. As you can see here, I got my recording software set up for more Let's Plays of Manic Miners. Uh, eh, I mean, the views have dropped off, but I, I'll, st I'll still continue recording myself playing those games. It's fun. I'm enjoying myself. Very much so, enjoying myself playing those games. So I'll keep doing that for now until I'm done with the series. And then after that, I'll just stop. Because I don't plan on um, recording any of the other stuff that the game can offer. Mostly because I don't really have the time for that. And also because, well, I don't know. It's just, I kind of just want to enjoy the game for myself. You know, I'm glad there's people out there who have subscribed to my channel who want to watch my videos. Or want to watch me do these Let's Plays. I very much appreciate that. But it's definitely not where the main viewership is for my channel. If it was, then I would obviously keep doing this. Because they're fun to do and easy to do. Mostly because I don't do any editing for them. 
I just hit record and then hit end and I just upload that video. So maybe they would get more views if I did a better job editing them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So let's see. Anything else? No, I think that's it for now. Yeah. I believe that is it. Yeah, that's it. So anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day.